Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the Crazy One Show. How is everyone doing? And for today's video, we're gonna talk about the pay to win, free to play craziness that are pulling players left, right and center. Well, it's time to face reality because gone are the days where you buy a game or you download a game, then you're good. You enjoy the game and you don't worry about spending another dime. Because now, microtransactions are everywhere, on every game, in every platform. Don't get me wrong though, I understand that it's a business, they need to make money. But my question is, when is it too much? We all know that most multiplayer games or online games now are cash grabs. I think it's okay if it's only for aesthetic purposes. But when they ask you to spend a ton, when you need to upgrade or level up, then that makes it 100% pay to win. And it's not to knock off anyone spending money on the game, because it's just human nature. If you give people an option to go the easy route, we probably all will. But now in GOTC, we're at the point where even the biggest players, even the biggest spenders are calling foul. Yeah, you heard me right, man. Even Tori and Conquest are telling the devs that this is too much. Everything is expensive in-game, from upgrades to materials. Everything, man. Hell, even changing names will cost you. Well, I'm not ranting about that because we all know it's hell expensive. So yeah guys, you know that dragons are the latest addition to GOTC. They are the latest must-haves, but in reality, it was overhyped, man. Most players would tell you that it ain't much, it didn't live up to the hype, it wasn't all that. And on top of that, it's super expensive. Me and KQ were talking about dragons and why she didn't max it out. Because, yeah, like, like I told you earlier, it wasn't worth it. So, while we were chatting, she sent me this. It's a post from the Warner Bros. So, for everyone asking, how much you need, how much does it cost? Here it goes. Four accounts in Tari now have adult dragons, including one that has attained level 60 and has maxed research with the ability to use five charges of dragon breath. The cost to obtain each of these adult dragons was well in the excess of 10,000 US dollars. With the level 60 dragon alone costing well in the excess of 100,000. When I saw this, I was like, what the F? What the HFU? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just. I just couldn't believe it. Like I said earlier, most games have m microtransactions, but it ain't this bad. 100,000 for a dragon. Well, for those wondering, for those asking, now you know, it's 100k. And that's just a dragon. No keep, no soldiers, no nothing. Just a dragon. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what to say now. It's just, it's just crazy. So if you want to make a stand, and maybe, just maybe, Warner Bros. hears you out. Just go to the Warner Bros. community forums and add a reply under Taurus post on Dragons Failed to Deliver. And just let the devs know that we ain't having it. I apologize if you guys were expecting a more informative video rather than a rant video. But what can I say? I guess it's your turn to rant on Warner Bros. Let them have it.